What up, fish people? Kenny E with the Etiquette Aquatics. Well, guys, I've been meaning to do this for a while, so tonight I'm going to give you a tour of all the shrimp in the Danikin Shrimp House, Fish House. So it's going to be a little bit of a lengthy tour, but I figured I'd show them off to you. These are our yellows. They don't look too yellow because of this light we have. It's not very flattering of them. We're going to get this LED for them. But these are pretty cool. We've been keeping these for quite some time. They're very large shrimp. Very cool looking shrimp. And they've been doing very well for us. But we have these in a little 20 tall. And like I said, we've been letting this colony rebuild again because I did last year about this time sell it down to capacity. So we didn't want to continue with that. And we'll take you into the beautiful discus room so I have a couple different lines in here as well and I was smart this time because I wanted to be able to get you good video of them all so I went and fed them right before I started this video so we should have lots of them out now this is our line of oranges this is the line that I wasn't too happy with they still look good but they're not that bright brilliant orange I was looking for I do have another line of those that I'm working with, but they're still good looking shrimp. I got my yellows from LRB and I believe I got these ones from LRB as well. Good looking shrimp. Healthy, healthy, healthy. And this one has just been pummeled. I've probably sold mm, 500 shrimp out of this tank. There's one. It's got to be cold. I got to cold this bad boy. But we don't kill any of our coals here either. They go into another tank. I've got to. I'll make that the last tank I show you guys. But and this is again just another twenty. Now we don't even consider putting shrimp in these tanks until they've been up for quite some time. A lot of times these tanks will have fish in them for a while and then. Once that line of fish, we figure out what we want to do with them or they move on to a bigger tank or whatever, I'll generally turn them into shrimp tanks. And I'm going to tell you guys, if you never kept shrimp, it, I would suggest that you understand one thing about them. If you keep any, I don't care if it's a cherry shrimp, whatever, I promise you, you will have a ton of shrimp by the end of the year. You're going to get hooked on them because they're that cool. They're just so peaceful. They just chill out. If you notice something that you don't see a lot of in this tank is algae. Because these little guys is munching away. Now all the species I'm keeping are all neos. So they do like the conditions a little harder. So that is them. And then we'll slide you down here. These ones I got from the Garden of Eater. These are the Black Rose. They are a pretty little shrimp. Me and Danny are going to be re sending these guys to another established tank that has sand bottom. I got so excited and I had this tank up forever that it had a lot of algae on that rock. So I wanted to get them in here. And they, did re they have reproduced quite a bit for us, as you can see. Problem is, black sand. Not exactly the highlight tank to have when you got black shrimp that you want to see. So we are going to be transferring these guys to a sand bottom tank so we can see them better. But yeah, I've got tons of them in here. So, and I will tell you guys, both Grant and LRB, I've gotten shrimp from both and both have produced massive amounts of babies for me. Oh, there's a coal. They spit a red. Look at there. I'll have to tell Danny, her and I are going to have to spend some we go through about once every two weeks to check out, make sure we get all the ones that aren't supposed to be in here out. But these black rows do spit different colors. Oh, is that a blue or is that a black? That's sure looking blue to me. What do y'all think? He's going to have to be cold too. Yeah, he's definitely got blue in him. Sorry, my eyes automatically just focus on that when I'm doing these videos. But the black rows are beautiful. Absolutely love these guys. So 
So give me one moment, guys. I'll probably stop the cam here, and I'll just merge this video later because I don't want you to have to see me walking through the whole house. I know that drives people nuts. So I'll be right back. And we're back. And we're back, guys. So these are my beautiful line of Bloody Marys. And these guys spit some very true babies. Good occasional one like that, but... For the most part, they're all this brilliant, bright red. I thought I lost this colony. I had it crash on me. And I'm happy to say I've been seeing babies again. We're just gonna let it chill out and do its thing. I do plan to move these guys into a 20 because they're one of my favorite lines I have. They get this deep, dark red color to them. Beauty, beauty, beauties. We're going to have to thin the shrubbery out of here. So we could, what we usually do when we're doing that is we'll actually take one of our spare 20s or something and dip all this stuff in there because we are starting to get babies again. But I don't like it when it's this thick. The shrimp, I don't think, mind it. And then we've been putting a lot of catapa leaves in here. But like I said, those are the Bloody Mary. Sorry for the glares, guys. And the linear air pump blaring in the back, I know it's probably quite loud. So that's those. I do have like two or three shrimp in this tank, but I think it's more these guys are deciding to take little trips across barren lands and landing, and then I don't think it probably, I don't think rainbows would mess with them, but now this is uh, our blue line, our blue dream shrimp. And we've actually combined a couple of lines here. We've got LRB's blue team in here, and then we've also got Steph from Aquaria Life's blue dreams in here. I saw Steph's at the uh, Fishtoberfest, and I couldn't let her take them home. I had to have them. But they are amazing. Good, deep blue color to them. Now, I haven't been watching these as well as I should. Yeah, there's a smaller one. I haven't noticed how many babies we've been getting. That's when I like to take my little videos and do a scan. But I'm not seeing any more, so. I don't think we got babies, too much baby activity in here, so we'll keep letting these guys just do their thing. Then down here is one of my latest lines. These are what they call the emeralds. And these are from uh, Grant and Shelby, Garden Eater. I just got these, so this tank I won't even play with for months. We'll just let them do their thing. But it's nice, again, nice, well-established tank for them. Got some wood in here and a couple different rocks from the clan. But that's them I'm trying to get a good shot where it shows the green there you can see it starting to come through a little bit and then over here I've got another line of cherries I've got like four lines of cherries going these are not the greatest ones these are I'll show you some of my better ones but they're still doing well. They're reproducing. They're just not that bright, brilliant red I see some of the lines have nowadays. But still, if you're just starting shrimp keeping, these guys, why is this camera jacking me tonight? Y'all see that? That sucker's not focusing. Give me some focus. Not. I think it's the different light is really messing with them. Is what's going on. We got all kinds of glare, so let me try this. Let me go down like that. There we go. Sorry about that. Smartphones sometimes ain't so smart. There's a coal shrimp right there. See, it's 
perfectly clear. Then we have some others that are down in here. This miscellaneous different shrimp. That's one of our cold tanks. And we got different lines of guppies up there, but we're not concentrating on guppies today, so. All right, this is my other line of cherries. Absolutely love these guys. Gorgeous color. And these are doing well again, very well. And these are another batch of shrimp. I think we bought these from Garden to Eater as well. And this is another tank that we're just letting go for a while. But amazing, amazing shrimp. Like I said, guys, if you get these little guys in your blood, I'm telling you, you will not be able to come back from it. Aren't they funny? They just sit there and dig, 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 have fun. So that's those. Now these tanks aren't really YouTube friendly, but I'll try to back this up a little bit. I don't know if y'all can see that. This is another line of blues I got going. And these ones we're just having fun with and letting them do their thing. They've been reproducing like crazy as well. As you can see, I'll try to get this up without scaring them. See that guy? Ain't he beautiful? Look at those guys. Oh, there's a little baby too. So they're itsy bitsy baby. But yeah, this tank's doing very, very well. And all we did is took a 100 gallon tote. Filled it with lots of, uh, we got like katapa leaves in there and various stuff, two different types of wood, some nice uh, vo our, uh, coral rock type stuff that gives keeps the pH up for us. And the hardness. Neil's like the hardness. And I do let the duckweed go on these for a bit. You just got to be careful. It's a painful line. Okay, I'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back. Now, this tank is our line of oranges that I'm happy with right now. The only problem with this tank, I've been pulling them as I've seen them. I made a mistake about a month ago and went to a swap. There's one of the oranges. Ain't he pretty? Look at him. But this is the same setup as that other tank. One I just showed you, it's just a, I think this one's a 70 gallon tub. And I just, we've been getting babies in here. I don't know if you can see the orange down there. These tanks aren't as YouTube friendly, but I at least figured I'd show you what I'm doing. These shrimps show up like awesome in the, when you do see them, this bright orange. But they also like to hang at the bottom because I have a lot of good stuff at the bottom down there. There's one. See how bright she is? Look at that. See that shrimp, guys? Beautiful. So that is them. They're the other orange line we have going. And again, we're just letting them build up. Now this, Grant with the Garden Eater, I'm telling you, this is living proof. Now I'm going to show you this is where two entities meet, okay? It's Grant Shrimp meets Shrimp Envy Food. And if you all haven't heard of Shrimp Envy, they have some good food, guys. They create these kinds of feeding frenzies like you wouldn't believe, man. Now, I've had this line for about, I think Grant sold these to me in July. It was right before the Triple Crown. And I've been actually taking some of these to the swaps already because there's so many of them I mean everywhere you look every branch every leaf but like I said these guys sell you good shrimp now these are what is Grant calls the blue diamonds absolutely gorgeous shrimp
Ain't they something? And I'm telling you, this is what makes you get hooked on these shrimp. When they get engaged like this and they're just so into the feeding frenzy, how can you not dig that? They're actually trying to come at me right now. Really, really cool stuff. And when I get them in a bag, they're like this. I, I can't describe the blue. It's a real cool blue. But yeah, these guys are doing great. And then over here we have just miscellaneous shrimp that have over here. I think I got some blue sapphires. These aren't uh, anything serious. We're just letting these kind of go. I got another line of cherries here. All kinds of moss in here for them. They love this. This has been a setup for a while. Now I am keeping stack endlers in with them at the moment. But the endlers don't seem to be messing with them. I'm seeing babies in here, so I know the bigger females I'm almost positive would go after them, but although the endlers I've noticed don't really eat their babies much either, so I might get lucky. But look at these. This line is not bad line. We just let those go for a while. That got just pummeled. At one point, I think we had close to 2,000 of them in here. And these we were actually selling to one of my local fish stores. But yeah. That's the only thing you will have to do is make sure you get hookups to move your shrimp because they do reproduce pretty quickly. And if you don't want to have too many end up in the tank and your tank crash. But And now these, I already had an existing line of jades here. And I wanted to spice them up a little bit. And I'm getting breeding activity again, it looks like. But I went and got some of uh, Garden the Eater's uh, greens, his green jades. Very, again, I bought, I think now, five lines from Grant and Shelby, and all of them have just been absolutely amazing. But look at this. Look at these guys, man. I got all the fish out of here because I wanted to... Not, I don't really think the guppies were probably doing too much damage to them, but I didn't want to risk it. But this tank has been well established. It's got lots of moss growth. Lots of good wood. We put lots of botanicals in here. Nope, I see if, I don't know why it is. My brain just goes right to them. There's a coal waiting for me to get out of there. But they're so amazing. Like I said, if you guys get into the shrimp, it's a rabbit hole you'll have a hard time breaking. Because they get in your blood. Danny and I love them. Danny's the one that initially got us hooked on it. Then I used to flip for crap. Now this is another little project I'm working on. We've let plants just build up in here. And we've got a little line of reds in here right now that we've been, yeah, there's one. They're the darker, so I'm hoping I can get some of the Bloody Mary lines in there. And my goal is if I can get that dark red going throughout here, it's a lot bigger volume. And I, I just want to get my Bloody Mary line back to being strong. So, like I said, the shrimp, the shrimp hole will get you. Now I told you, I promised you guys I'd show you. This is what I've got to set up. Every time we get a coal, they end up in this tank. And what's cool about keeping your coals, you end up with a bunch of really type stuff. Some naturals, some reds, some greens. I mean, all kinds of stuff. And I'm not, I just let them go. Now, yes, are they probably getting preyed on occasionally? Yeah. But again, they're cold shrimp to begin with. They like to hang out up in here too. But then they reproduce and you end up with some more cool stuff. I'm hoping by doing this we can get a couple of purples is what I'm hoping for. But that's where they end up. Now this is our Shubel line of guppies that are doing very well. And I'm waiting to see, somebody's been picking on my mail, his fins all stripped. 
man. But yeah, there. Picture a uh, Hawaiian blue Moscow, only it's a, a metallic green. And I apologize, it's really thick because I want these babies to survive, but so the light's not giving them any justice. But absolute stunners, man. Anyway, guys, that is the shrimp tour. As always, love your fish. Be sure to check out LRB Aquatics garden eater and aquaria life awesome places have a great night